Okay, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> um, so the Vivant Skin Care Daily Renewal Pads. Honestly, they saved my freaking life. I discovered them on a forum. I've read every forum, every YouTube video, seen every YouTube video, and I figured what the heck. I've tried everything else, and they work wonders. I'm so thankful I found them. I hope they work as well for someone else. They're about $60, $65 though, and I have to get it once a month, so that kind of stinks, but it's totally worth it. Uh, the thing that I also discovered that really, really helps is mullein leaf. Oh my gosh, I discovered this because I had problems breathing and then I noticed that my skin was getting clearer, so I researched and it helps with yeast overgrowth, which is essentially what Melisezia is. So I also really like it in tincture form because I feel like it works faster. And then the third thing that was a lifesaver was quitting caffeine. This one's a really hard one, but it made such a big difference. If you do the first two steps, but you don't quit caffeine, you will still struggle with breaking out from pterospirum folliculitis. I also noticed for me, I don't know if this will work for other people, but corn, I'm sure that caffeine will work for other people, but for me, um, I think I might be a little allergic to corn. I guess we all are, three and four people apparently are allergic to corn. So I quit that, but it's in everything, so I just try not to eat tortilla chips or anything that's only corn, but I can still have corn and caffeine, but it's only, you know, once or twice a week and, and not twice a week, once every one, one or two weeks. And that is it. You can only have one cup of coffee. I've experimented and anything more than that will break me out, but hopefully you can drink more and be fine, but just an experiment, see what works for you. Um, if you don't want to go the hippie route for whatever reason, ketoconazole cream I got from the dermatologist that took seven weeks and it brought it down about 70% but I wouldn't recommend that route um, if you can't afford 80 to 90 dollars because this is about 20 25 um, and then the five ants about 60 to 90 if you can't afford that a month then baking soda and a lemon and you can put honey or clay to thicken it up and you put that on your face every day and also if, if you do that and you quit caffeine I think you'll be able to keep it under control and I get a pimple I only break I only get like one pimple now when I'm when it's the time of the month so this this whole these three steps have done wonders for me I'm so thankful I discovered it and so I have it all over my body so I didn't used to be able to shave, but until I discovered this, so I will put rubbing alcohol on my razor to sanitize it, then I shave my legs, and then I exfoliate my legs right afterwards with um, apricot medicated scrub, I exfoliate, and I use, or I'll use coffee grinds. And then when I get out of the shower, I put Nizoral on my legs, and then after that I put aloe vera. On it because I don't want to put lotion because I don't want my pores to get blocked so I put aloe um, this has really really worked for me this whole if I follow every single step I will keep my skin totally clear but if I skip a step I will break out so I really really hope this works for someone else I have tried everything I will put a list of all the things that I've tried below that didn't work for me so you don't have to waste your time um, I also really like this by nature day cream. It doesn't help with melisezia, but the Vivant pads will dry your skin out. So this will help it, you know, keep it under control and looking nice. So I hope that this works for everyone else and let me know if it worked for you and I wish you the best. Good luck.